Senator Rand Paul, who is usually a best erratic, breaking with President Trump, saying he will vote to block the president's national emergency declaration, uh, which is uh, meant to help build the wall to secure our southern border to assure, assure uh, Americans' uh, safety uh, and, of course, our national security. He joins three other rhinos, as I said earlier, uh, the, uh, the rhino luminaries in the Senate who oppose the national emergency, uh, leading to this conclusion today from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Listen to this. I think what, uh, what is clear in the Senate is, is there will be enough votes uh, to pass the resolution of disapproval, which will then be vetoed by the president, and then in all likelihood the veto will be upheld in the House. And you can tell that he just loves the smell of cordite, huh? Uh, joining me now, Mark Morgan, former U.S. Border Patrol chief under President Obama, served 20 years in the FBI uh, and the United States Marine Corps. We want to add that as well. Good to see you, Mark. Uh, Good to see you. I, I'm, I'm watching this. Uh, I was watching the president's speech at CPAC. Uh, he talked extensively about the border the crisis as he has and seems to be the only voice in America at times, I swear to God, uh, with the guts to actually talk about drug cartels. You notice no one even whispers cartel. Only this president has that courage. He's the only president, if you'll check it out, who's ever talked about it. And yet, Central Americans are pouring across the border. Uh, uh, Mexican citizens are pouring across the border. And as the president himself pointed out, these are not Rhodes Scholars, and they are not the most uh, uh, educated uh, amongst the, uh, uh, or skilled amongst the people of Central America or Mexico. And, and no one wants to, in the Democratic Party, acknowledge that there is a crisis here. I, I mean, it's astonishing. What can be done? This president has talked to the Border Patrol. He has put, their, put them before the American people. Everyone who watches local news on any given day watches terrible, terrible reports about the deaths of young Americans. What will it take? Well, Lou, and let's, let's make sure we frame this narrative out correctly. It's not just the Democrats. Rand Paul showed us that today. Mm -hmm. He is saying that he's going to vote against the president. By doing so, this is not about the president circumventing the appropriation authority of Congress. That's not what this is. This is about the as, president. As Rand Paul claimed it was. Exactly. This is about the president doing what Congress failed to do. And by him voting against the president's declaration, he is actually saying to the experts and to the president that this isn't a crisis. He's yeah. joined in the Democrats by voting no. At what point do the people of Kentucky say the hell with this kind of representation? They've got the Senate majority leader who uh, he might as well be uh, basking by the pool in the Koch brothers' backyard for crying out loud, uh, you know, and doing all of his banking as closely as he can with Goldman Sachs. This is pitiful. It, it is. And today, Lou, we just got another set of facts. And last month, CBP just came out with the facts. Guess what? 70,000 illegal aliens were apprehended by the United States Border Patrol last month. 70,000. Yeah. Do the math. If, if it keeps going, we're going to be in excess of 700,000. Those are just what we apprehend. Throw in a couple hundred thousand that we don't. We're going to be looking over a million individuals well, that we apprehended this year. I can remember what the ratio used to be, including when you uh, were running the joint. It was three to one. For every apprehension, the estimate was three got through. Uh, and by that metric, uh, we're looking at as the president calls it, an invasion. Absolutely. And, and at this point, we've got people talking, and suddenly the president is talking about H-1B visas. I, I mean, no one is, is admitting, acknowledging that the top, the top outsourcers in this country are from India. They are bringing in foreigners at 25 to 30 percent lower wages under the H-1B program you know, the, 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 you know, the phonies from Silicon Valley, uh, Microsoft are spilling their bull. And, uh, you know, it, it's just it, there's a lie at every turn uh, directed at this president to his policies. H-1B is a joke uh, and and it is a fraud, is it not? 
a absolutely. And again, Lou, you you've said it so many times. How many more facts, how many more historical data do we have to prove? We can't have a legitimate discussion because you have people that just dismiss facts, dismiss the drugs coming across, dismiss the uh, alien smuggling, the sexual exploitation, the bad criminals coming in, and we could go on and on and on. And they just dismiss the reality and the facts that this is a crisis. It's unbelievable. And uh, you know, it's, I, I have to tell you, there are times when you, you look at the president now talking about building a wall. We're down to 215 miles of wall. I don't know where it is. I haven't seen pictures of it. Uh, I've, uh, I've seen pictures of the eight prototypes being destroyed. Uh, but suddenly we, we've got a negotiation on our hands. And it looks to me like the Koch brothers and Wall Street have got a few people by the nape of their necks who advise in the White House uh, or advise at least those in the White House. Uh, and it's very troubling to watch this, uh, this uh, systemic uh, erosion on the part of the powerful policies of this president. Uh, and to watch the, the reality is that the Trump administration is getting gamed on this right now. And I, frankly, uh, am sick of it. Your thoughts, you get the last word. Uh, well, Lou, I completely agree. And here's, here's the end result, right? And Americans are going to die because of political ideology is being put in front of the protection and safety of this country. Americans are dying, and they're going to continue to die because of political ideology. That's disgusting. Yeah.